let's take a look at protected classes, otherwise known as protected characteristics. Not all distinctions between people, and not even all those things that have no bearing on a person's ability to do a job, are protected class characteristics. To be sure, protected class characteristics are things that we generally regard as having little or no relationship to the ability to do a job. However, protected class characteristics also are fundamentally objectionable as grounds for making employment decisions. One reason is that most protected class characteristics are either unchangeable or not readily altered. The following is a list of protected classes under federal anti-discrimination statutes. Race and color under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Sex under Title VII and the Equal Pay Act. National origin under Title VII and the Immigration Reform and Control Act. And religion under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. The list continues with citizenship under the Immigration Reform and Control Act, age 40 and older under the Age Discrimination and Employment Act, and disability under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Further, pregnancy under the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, military service under the Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act, and genetic information under the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act. Other protected classes are recognized under the laws of some states and cities, but not under federal law. Notice that some anti-discrimination statutes limit the definition of protected class to a particular group that is most likely to be the object of discrimination.